Well, volunteers at the UT Gardens are hoping to build a sort of pit stop for the monarch butterflies as they began their migration later this summer. As Emily DeVoe shows us, the rain today didn't stop their work, and in a couple of months, they hope it will be a beautiful attraction that's bigger than anything they've done before. This is actually the first Monarch Way Station on UT's entire campus, so it's a completely new project for us. Similar to a way station for 18 wheelers, this unique 5,000 square foot garden will be a place for monarch butterflies to stop along their migration route to warmer weather. I like to think of it kind of as a pit stop for the monarch butterflies that are traveling from Canada to Mexico. So those butterflies will come either the fall before or in the spring and they will come and they will have baby caterpillars and those caterpillars will feed on uh, milkweed and then those caterpillars will grow up into butterflies and then travel to Mexico into the fall. Alice Kimbrell is a horticulturist at the University of Tennessee Gardens. Even in the rain, she and volunteers are planting more than 80 species of plants that will attract pollinators like the monarch butterfly. We've never done a garden this big before, trying to um, got, get all the plants in, get the appropriate plants, have volunteers to help us during this time of COVID-19 is also a challenge and just trying to keep social distance between one another and have the garden be successful. The planning for the new garden began long before they put the plants in the ground. We've been planning the garden since before Christmas and we applied for the grant in January through the University of Tennessee's green fee. Um, and we finally received that just a couple of weeks ago, which has been super exciting. In late July, they hope to see the benefits of all their hard work as the caterpillars from the passing butterflies hatch and the flowers begin to bloom. Each year, it's just gonna, the garden's just gonna get better and better. The plants are gonna get bigger and we're hopefully can have more and more butterflies each year. For Live at Five at Four, I'm Emily DeVoe. Even though the Monarch Way Station won't hit its peak until later this summer, the UT Gardens is currently open. They just ask that you maintain social distancing.